Hey everyone, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Tech, and in this video, I want to talk to you about whether or not you should direct mine Ethereum versus nice hash. And that's only if, if your intention at the end of the day is to get as much Bitcoin as possible. If you're just trying to mine Ethereum, direct mining Ethereum is the best way to go. And I've done a number of videos out there showing you how to mine Ethereum. But if you're trying to mine Ethereum because it's the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine and has been for quite some time, and your intent is just to exchange it to Bitcoin, should you do it that way, direct mine or nice hash? And first off, I know my, uh, my buddy, Blind Run or Son of Attack has mixed feelings on Nice Hash. Maybe they're not even mixed. He just doesn't like Nice Hash, and I understand why, right? They've been hacked, they had issues, they burn bridges with miners, they sometimes spread FUD. They really need to get their stuff together. But besides that, there's lots of good information and data out there on how to mine Nice Hash. Even my video showing you a beginner's guide to mining Bitcoin. If you want to check that out, I have it in the description below. Right now, at time of filming, with my system, obviously, whattomine.com is a great calculator. It is estimations, right? They're not exact numbers, but they are estimations. With my system, my setup, I have a mix AMD and mix NVIDIA rig. I'm looking about $90 a day. The reason I tell you $90 a day is because I've been calculating over the past couple weeks, and this is what I got. So first off, $90 a day is what my system makes on average when I'm mining with nice hash. Right now, if we look at what to mine, you can see if we were to direct mine Ethereum, it would be $88.77, but after electricity, it'd be $81.37. Whereas if we were mining Ethereum through nice hash, we would be getting $85.59 and then $78.20 after electricity. That's roughly a $3 difference from $88 to $85, obviously and from 81 to 78, roughly $3. But that number varies. It depends on a number of market conditions, what's going on and stuff like that. I've seen on average since I started my data collection of anywhere from uh, $3 to $7 loss versus direct mining Ethereum against NiceHash uh, mining Ethereum. And, and what the thing is, is that NiceHash, people go to a marketplace, they put in an order, they say they're gonna pay this much per you know Bitcoin for this much hash rate, and then our mining rigs all mine to a specific pool that they get to choose, and then we get paid out in Bitcoin. So keeping in mind that we're losing about three to seven dollars a day mining through nice hash versus direct mining Ethereum, we gotta look at other factors. If we were to mine Ethereum, especially with current gas prices or gray, and today's Sunday, right? Right now at time of recording, it is Sunday, and gray is higher, the gas price is still high. The weekends, late weekends, are the best time to do some type of swap or exchange, stuff like that. Because during the weekdays, during the major trading hours, it is absolutely horrendous, the gas prices. In EIP-1559, we warned everybody that it's not going to fix or lower gas prices. Instead, it's going to make it more predictable. But a lot of people didn't pay attention and are still concerned about gas prices. Maybe the EVE team will come up with a fix later on and some other proposal. But right now, look at that. If we try to exchange, swap, or send any type of Ethereum, the amount of gas that we would have to spend will cost us almost $10 or more. Now, yes, you can fine tune and you can actually go lower than the lowest, but the time it would take for that transaction to complete may take longer or may not even make it if you set the gas too low. So $10 versus $3 right now in current market conditions, to me, it seems like nice hash is better to mine with. Yes, your machines are being used by somebody else to mine to their pool, and there are a number of factors. For instance, when that person selects your miner or chooses to pay a certain amount, a, collective, a collection of miners will all point to a pool of their choice. Now, if that pool is way out in Timbuktu and the ping for your miner is super high, that can cause issues or problems where you have stale shares, rejected shares, whatever it may be, and that can impact the amount of money that you make. But on the other hand, there are oftentimes some people who accidentally overpay and you get to reap the benefits of that. So there have been times where I've accidentally received more than I should have for the amount that I have mined. And you can only see that if you have the nice hash mobile app, you can see what's going on. You can actually see it sometimes on Ethermine or various pools, but 
the benefit is mining through nice hash at least right now it may not be like this in the future so always double check and verify set up what to mine.com to configure for your system your setup your cost of electricity but right now paying three dollars or losing three dollars using nice hash because of all the transactions and fees and all that stuff that's going on in the background plus nice hash taking their cut losing about three to five dollars is a lot better than losing let's say five to ten dollars when we try to swap exchange or even trade ethereum for bitcoin but it's going to be up to you to make the best decision for what your setup or your what your configuration is i just wanted to share my thoughts on that now yes i have some gripes with nice hash i am concerned with a number of things that they did or some of the actions they've taken but right now mining with nice hash is a little bit more profitable because the goal of my setup is to get as much bitcoin as 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 possible as humanly possible if i were to just mine ethereum i would just direct mine ethereum on my favorite pool but because i'm trying to stack as much bitcoin as possible i am mining ethereum through nice hash to get my payout and it's actually saving me money because i am not having to take the ethereum that i would have earned send it to an exchange or dex or whatever it may be and then swap it but that's just my take on it i do have personal concerns with nice hash they have been hacked in the past everything in the crypto world is honestly a risk so if you're not willing to risk it i completely understand but let me know your thoughts down below in the comments besides that that's going to do it for me today please do me a favor hit the like button on the way out don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell to stay updated with what's going on with the channel as well as check out some of the links in the description that uh, support us you all have yourself a wonderful day take care i'll catch you next one